It's official, it finally has happened. 100,000 subscribers, that's amazing. I remember in January, I still had 7,000, and now it's like July, and all of a sudden, 100,000. That's amazing. Thank you all for watching the videos and for making that happen. Now, many people ask me, how do I get my tone? Because I don't use an amp, but rather an app for recording the videos anyway. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at what app it is that I use and what exact settings and what have you. Now the first thing that I do is make sure my guitar is in tune. And it's funny because for years I used to tune my guitar like this. With harmonics. And when you hear that slight flutter, you make it go away and the guitar is in tune, right? Well, no, it's not. The seventh fret harmonic should be a little bit high, a little bit sharp compared to the fifth fret. So it should flutter a little bit. So if you tune your guitar with harmonics and make sure everything is nice and the same, you're actually not tuning your guitar properly. It's out of tune. Now, of course, you can also download an app on your smartphone and that generally works quite well. Now, what I use is this little thing here. It works wonders. You just put it on there and it tunes your guitar for you. That's what I like to use these days. the times we live in, right? When I was young, I remember we used to tune the guitar by our ears. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. I'll put the link in the description for anyone who's interested. Now, once the guitar is in tune, I do not plug it straight into the computer, but I use rather an audio interface. And this is the one I use, the UR44 by Steinberg. Works perfectly, you even have four inputs, and that goes into the computer through USB. So now that my guitar is plugged into the audio interface, I use a program called Cubase to do the recording and to use all kinds of effects and plugins and what have you. Let's take a look. So here we are in Cubase. We've got the audio track, the mono track. Let's have a listen to the guitar. <laughs> It's a little bit clean and a little bit shallow, isn't it? Well, it's because this is the direct sound coming from the guitar itself. Let's spice it up a little bit and use the Guitar Rig 5 app that I use so very often. As you can see, lots and lots of choices, amps, sounds, what have you. I'm gonna choose Styles, Blues, number six, the Stevie's Rhythm preset. And that should sound considerably better. Let's have a listen. <laughs> That is better. What a difference. This is without. And with. Quite a big difference. It's a good starting point to get your tone. Now, sometimes when I have need for a bit of a stronger sound, I use this one here, the Screamer. Perhaps a little bit more drive. And let's listen what we have now. Let's turn this screamer off. Hear the difference? Still a good sound, but... The screamer... is so much more powerful. So that's a very good one to use. So as you can see, lots of different styles you can choose, but funk and soul, let's take a look at that for instance. And how about funky auto wah? That sounds interesting. Let's take that one. Whoa. It's toys for grown-ups, really. Now, once I have a sound, I just add one compressor and that's basically the entire thing. So let's say we're not gonna go for the funky auto wah, but rather choose the Stevie's Rhythm preset. Then what I do is the L2 compressor. And here we have it. Put this right over here. And I usually do about well, six, and that should give a good, full, and rich tone. And that's basically how I get my tone. 
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 100,000 subscribers, that's amazing. Thank you so much for watching. And also a huge thanks to all patrons for supporting the channel. I will see you 